What's up, Internet? Reviewing today another card from Ace Wurix, the RX 560 XT. But you can be forgiven wondering, ano ba tong card na to? Because to be honest, kailan rin namin ni research. Hindi ganon kasi kat yung 560 XT. It was released in 2019, originally China exclusive to. Pero since kinukuha naman ni China yung mga lupa at mga pulo at mga isda natin, kunin na rin natin yung mga GPU nila. So now it's available in the Philippines thanks to Asurix. But do you really want a 4GB, 4-year-old car in your system? Let's find out. So as the name implies, yung 560XT nasa gitna siya ng 550 at ng 570. It's basically a pared down 570. Roughly yung performance niya dapat around the same level as an Intel A380 or an NVIDIA 1650. Unlike some of the other entry-level cards that we've reviewed, it does need a 6-pin power connector in addition to installing it in the motherboard. So, hindi sapat na isalpak lang sa MOBO. It does need additional power. The price of this card is very good. Actually, kahit gusto mo bilhin tong card na to, it's currently sold out sa Asu Rix, but it was selling at 3,500. And for the performance, that price was really good. So our test bench was an Intel i3-12100, not the greatest system, but probably something thereabouts that you would pair with this card. All of the games we tested were at 1080p. Shadow of the Tomb Raider had an average FPS of a very decent 56 FPS with an average temp of 63 degrees. Final Fantasy XIV, 1080p, maximum preset, had average FPS of 62 with an average temp of 63 degrees. Forza Horizon, 1080p, ultra preset, had average FPS of, again, very decent, 66.4 with an average temperature of less than 60 degrees, 58.8. Superposition, 1080p high, average FPS of 32.1 with an average temperature of 61.5 degrees. And finally, with 3D Mark Time Spy, average FPS was 17.5 with an average temp of 62 degrees. Now, we ran the NVIDIA 1650 with the same system and got very similar results. Kumbaga, sa ibang games, mas mabilis ng konti yung 560 XT. Sa ibang games, mas mabilis ng konti yung 1650. So, just to give it a rundown, same games with the 1650. We have Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p high. Average FPS was 55.4. Again, very, very close to the 560 XT. Although hotter at 64 degrees average temperature. Final Fantasy 14, 1080p, maximum preset. 63 FPS average with an average temp of 69 degrees. Forza Horizon 4, 1080p, ultra preset. Average FPS was a very good 71, beating out the 560XT, but also at a hotter average temperature of 71 degrees. Superposition 1080p high, average FPS of 35 with an average temperature of around 66. And 3D Mark Time Spy for the 1650 was an average FPS of around 21 with an average temperature of 57. So if you do a blow-by-blow, blow, there are some games where the 560XT is slightly ahead and some games where the 1650 is slightly ahead. Overall, not bad for a relatively unknown card that was released just in China. But the one thing that the 560XT, the Isurix one, has going for it is sobrang mura niya. Yung nga, 3.5 lang siya usually if they're stuck. It would be very difficult to find a new 1650 at that price. Baka makahanap ka second hand. Although Asurix claims that all of their cards are brand new. And with that, we come to the part of the review na palagi may disclaimer tungkol sa Asurix. Kasi ang dami nagsasabi online na bulok yan, sobrang mura, second hand. Again, we're just going on what we know, on the data that we've gathered, on our actual experience. What we know for sure is that A, Asurix claims that their cards are brand new. B, their cards are super cheap. Sobrang hirap to find this kind of performance at that kind of price. And even interestingly, even the more expensive Asurix cards, like the RX 580, which is around 4,300, so it's around 20% more, they do give slightly better performance. If you go back to our previous RX 580 video, although you can't really compare it because it's different test bench namin from that video compared to this video, but a very rough comparison. Pamin san masubilis RX 560 XT, and for only 3,500. Yung nga, value for money, it's really hard to beat Asurix and this card in particular. But yung nga, as we always say, there are a lot of detractors online and nasa sayo na yun. 
if you want to risk buying something super cheap na parang good value for money naman siya, pero hindi mo alam kung kailan masisira. At least based on our experience, so far, the Ace Turex cards seem to be holding up. But we have had comments online saying na yung iba na bumili sa kanila, mabilis masira. But even then, may nasisira naman talaga regardless of brand. Yung mas mahalaga, mabilis ba yung RMA nila. And that's something that we're still waiting for feedback from our viewers who have actually bought an Asurix card and needed it replaced. But bottom line, the RX 560 XT from Asurix is out of stock and very good value for money. To be honest, I was really surprised by the performance of this relatively unknown card. Kung gusto mo na isugal because the performance is really good for the price that you're getting, that's really up to you. But at least you know the ballpark of the performance that you can expect from this card. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.